welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button. It's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also right next to it, there's the CC uh, letters for closed caption. You can turn that on. And you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video. Take notes will make it easier for you. Now, normally when I upload um, the videos, it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying. So it can appear on the closed caption. So don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched. It will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload. I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn, extra thread, and you'd like to help the women in need, we highly appreciate it and being very, very grateful for it. Thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping. If you'd like to donate right below the video, there's a little bag of dollar sign. You can donate whatever amount you'd like. Nobody's asking for millions. Anything helps. It adds up at the end. Uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I gratefully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit. These are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones, your computers, and take every information of yours. Do not open up those links. There's a lot of hackers in the groups now. That's why I made sure that my group is private. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you from the start uh, being with me, and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so please do so. Thank you so much, everybody. Everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that I create, the sizes, the thread that I use, which is Portugal thread. They are 100% cotton thread, four ply, which is similar to Aunt Lydia. Number three, which num number three Aunt Lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread, not by much, but a little bit. I usually use a hook three or 3.5, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors, of course. So thank you, everybody. Uh, any other questions, suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. You can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh, give some thread or yarn away. There's my email below the description box. There's my Facebook page that you can follow also, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my TikTok. So there's so many ways you can message me. Thank you so much, everybody. I hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So today we're going to create a uh, table cover, doily, cloth, if you want to call it, depending upon the thread and the size you're going at. This was a special request that I got um, for an octagon tablecloth from baby grandma. I hope I have it right. I should have checked before I mentioned, but anyway, you know who you are. Um, so this was a special request from one of my followers, subscribers. Thank you so much for the request and for being part of this journey with me, uh, baby grandma. Thank you humbly. So I'm going to try my best to create this. Uh, it's not, uh, she, she did mention that she wanted a, a tagonal, octagonal or a round. Okay. So because the holidays is coming very close, um, I'm going to create something nice. It's not octagonal exactly, but it is round, and it's perfect for that type of table. And, you, of course, you can go the size 
that you need to go by using the different size of thread. That's usually how it works. You want to go bigger, you have to use thicker thread and so on. So I'm going to use my four ply, 100% um, cotton thread. And she wanted more lacy type. So we're going to try to create her the more lacy type. Um, I had uh, a dear friend, which is the monitor of my group, um, Barbara uh, Fout, had sent me a few magazines with quite a few beautiful patterns, very, very old um, magazines. Uh, they don't even exist anymore. So um, I saw, I came across one that um, really interests me. So I'm going to switch up the game a bit and I think you will enjoy what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I hope you're going to like it, but if not, well, at least it's something out there that somebody for sure will like it. So I hope I'm going to do justice to this um, tablecloth that you requested and eventually later on I'll create a few more because in reality we do mostly rounds and ovals and things like that or longs you know so we'll have to get into the uh, the octagon ones and uh, take it from there okay so I'm going to use 2.75 hook I don't know why I'm getting hooked on this hook it's just wonderful to work with usually I work 3 3.5 but this seems to be doing very well for my for my work. A pair of scissors and a small one to tuck in loose ends. Now, uh, remembering um, baby grandma, because it's a table cloth or table doily, you know, you can go the size you want, remembering that you have to uh, either use uh, Aunt Lydia number three, cotton thread, that will make it big enough, and if you use number 10, Aunt Lydia, because I normally use on the U.S. or Canada, that's what you usually come across on the on the team, on the uh, cotton threads. I'm sure there's plenty if you look up online somewhere, but sometimes you guys have a hard time. If you're using number 10 and you wanted to make it a little bit bigger, but, you know, with, with the fineness of the 10, because it's very thin, then you can double or triple your thread. I don't know how much thread it will take because since I'm just going to create it, hopefully I'll get the grip of, of creating this and doing my own twist. kind of hard to see by the picture, but um, I am going to put my little sweet twist in it. Okay, so let's have fun with this uh, tutorial. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. By the way, um, baby grandma, thank you so much for your beautiful comments all the time and your support. I send you much love, much hugs. God bless you always and congrats on your move. Um, I think it's it's wonderful when we can have a beautiful move and there's blessings up ahead with the new uh, path uh, that you're about to embark on. Okay, so I send you much love, my sweet. Okay, let's get started, everyone. So the first thing we want to do is do... 12 chain one two three four i can get my my thread properly right five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve if your stitch is too wide your tension i suggest you're doing only ten or eight Okay, so now we are going to do one, two, three. Inside of the circle, we're going to do 24 double crochets. That's including with chain three. This is row one. I'll meet you at the end. So I have 24 double crochets. I'm going to come on the third one. We might have to do a uh, video two for this, okay, because it's a little bit touchy. She wanted like a lace type of thing, so this is more or less into the lace thing. And normally you would use like uh, a number 10 or a number 20 for this type of thing. I don't normally work with 10s or 20s. It's just out of my league. Not out of my league. I'm just tired of it. I used to work with it when I was very young. I have more tolerance for it. Okay, so I'm going to come back in the same space as I usually do, and I do a single, and I'm going to do one, two, three, and no, I'm going to do three chain. Now, you have to understand that 
at the beginning I am following some picture here that I barely can make out what I'm seeing. So I'm going to skip a space and I'm going into the next one. One, two, three. So I will have to pause a few times to check the picture to see if I'm getting this properly. One, two, three. Skip one into the next one. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip one into the next one. So we're going to have 12 loops all the way around. When we get to the first single we did, we're going to close it in with slip stitch. So row one, row two, going to row three. I'm going to come into the center of the first three chain we did here. And I'm going to do a single and two chain. I'm coming back in and I'm doing another double crochet. One, two, and three. I'm coming into the next space and creating two double crochet. One, two, and three into the next space and creating again two double crochet. So this row three will be about um, one, two, three, will be about two double crochets and three chain between them okay and then we're going to close it up on the on the uh, the third chain here i call it the third because we did a single and two chains so instead of saying yeah uh, on the second chain so you don't get confused so the third chain and i'll meet you at the end so we're going into row four one the three chain here is two this is three going into row four i call it this the um uh, doing the walk. So I'm going to do the walk with a slip stitch and I'm going to come and stretch it out over here a little bit and I'm going up again. One, two, three. And we're going to do the two double crochets again in the center of these loops. Now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five chain. I'm coming into the next one and creating two double crochet. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming into the next one and create the same thing. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, going into row five. So I'm doing the walk again. I'm going to do the walk here in between the stitch because I don't want it to be pulling too much into the thread. Then I'm coming into the center doing a single two chain and coming in and doing another double crochet one two three four five six chain this time coming into the center and creating two double crochets so this whole row will be chain six and two double crochet okay next row we're changing up a bit I'll meet you at the end. Okay, going into row six. I thought we were changing, but not yet. I'm going in through the little loops here just because I don't want to stretch the thread too much until I'm about in the center. And then I'm coming back in the center, doing a single two chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain this time. And then proceed again with the two double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again into the next one. Just like that. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys. So now we're going one, two, and three. In the same space, we're creating another double crochet. Next space, two double crochets together. So we're having an increase of two double crochets, two per space. So now we're going to do one, two, and three. I'm going to come into center of the chain eight we have there, one, two, and three. And I'm going to continue to do my increase. So basically, this row will be all about 
two double crochets together and on the second one two double crochets together and then th chain three into the center with single chain three I'll meet you at the end okay you guys going into row eight I'm coming back in and I'm doing a single and two chain in the same space two double another double crochet so that's two double crochets there next space one alone next space one alone and the last one two together so our increase is two at the beginning and two at the end okay one two three four five six seven eight chain again coming into the first one again doing the increase two together Now remembering you can mix colors if you want to do like the Christmas theme with whites and reds and greens. Two, four, six. We're going to proceed this way all the way around. Okay, you guys going into row nine. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm coming back in the same one and doing a single two chain again we're going to do an increase two together at the beginning and two together at the end so next space double crochet alone 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 and two on the last one so this row has two four six eight chain three one two three close up in the center with a single chain three and again repeat the same thing two together on the first one and then the other ones alone and on the last one add two together and i've chosen this pattern for you my dear because it's just beautiful lacy looking and also very easy and very fast so you don't have to do so much stitching and so much whatever i think i'm almost sure you will love it it's a gorgeous piece of art okay so let me show at the end okay everyone going into row 10 so single two chain this row we're going to continue to do the increase of two double crochets at the beginning and two at the end. So it's basically the two double crochets and then one per space until the end and then two at the end and then again chain eight. We're going to change up a bit the next row. So two, four, six, eight, ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming back in and doing the two double crochets together. So it's just a repeat again over here, all the way around. And one per space and then do your increase at the end two together okay you guys so I close in with a slip stitch on row 10 going to row 11 so nothing is changing on this row I thought we were but we're not so we're still doing the increase now the next row we're going to start doing the decrease okay so this row will have 12 double crochets so two at the beginning and two at the end and then your four chain and single one two three four your single 
one, two, three, four, and start your increases again, two at the beginning and two at the end. Create your 12 double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, going into row 12. Now, it might seem like it's furling up. I don't know how do you call it. But as we go, it, it starts stretching out. So don't worry about if you see a little bit of waves on it. It's normal. So row 12, we're decreasing. And coming into the next double crochet. So the second one single two chain so we're going to decrease we're not going to work on the first one nor the last one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten one, two, three, four. Now you should know by now if your tension is too loose, then um, cut a chain. If it's too tight, then increase the chain. We're coming inside of the space here with a single. On top of the single with a single and another single right after. One, two, three, four coming in the second double crochet so we're not doing the first and we're not doing the last and this is what it looks like so you do your chain four single single on top of single and one single so we have three singles okay meet you at the end okay you guys going to row 13 so I've closed in with a slip stitch I'm doing a walk over to the next one. We're doing decrease again, single two chain. This is my second double crochet, my third, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain four, two, three, four. Again, I'm coming in here. single 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 and single so we have one two three four singles no five singles sorry so we have three singles here one on each side five one, two, three, four, and come into the second double crochet and do your double crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, Four. again single inside of the space of the chain one on top of the double the single so that's two three four and five singles and chain four again two three four come into the second double crochet so we don't do the first and we don't do the last okay I'll meet you at the end okay you guys Going into row 14, let me just confirm, yes, single, so we're still decreasing, single, two chains. Now, using number three and Lydia, of course the pattern will be way much bigger. But I don't think it will fall over the table, baby grandma. I do have uh, an octagon pineapple in my playlist. What I'll do is once I launch the video, I will list it below. It's exactly, exactly 
octagon. And also another thing is where I have uh, table cloths, uh, rugs that can be also tablecloths on my playlist. You could always go there and also create. There's beautiful patterns there with pineapples and other motives for that specific table. Okay, just an idea for you. So two, four, six. Now we're decreasing one, two, three, four. And we're going to continue to do the um, single. So single inside of the chain, single over single. So two, three, one, two, three, four, sorry. Five, six, and seven. So we started with one, three, five, and now seven. Chain four again. Two, three, four. And continue to do your six double crochet, always skipping the first and skipping the last. And also, if you want to go bigger on this pattern, all you have to do is just keep increasing here, you know, uh, the rows. And also, you can increase here also before uh, the decrease. You can go up higher also. That will make the pattern bigger. So you have two options here to go bigger. Okay, just little ideas for you. The same concept. Just keep adding to at the beginning, to at the end, and keep doing your chain eight and then your chain four, chain eight, chain four. So that will, until you get to the size you think you're okay, and then you continue from there on creating the rest of what we're doing now. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, going into row 15, into the second double crochet. So we're always decreasing until we have two left, two double crochet left at the end. So now we're going to have four. So that means the next one will have the two double crochet. One, two, three, four. And we're going to proceed to do the same thing. Single. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine singles, one, two, three, four, and proceed with your four double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, going to row 16. I'm going to do the walk over to the next one. We're going to have two double crochets. So single, two chain, and another double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Come back and do your single where the chain is. And then one single per space. So you're supposed to have 11 singles. So, of course, we are skipping the first and the last of the double crochet. One, two, three, four. Double crochet and double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, you guys, so we pretty much finished row 16, going to row 17. I'm going to come right in the center here by grabbing the loops and doing a single one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten I'm gonna do a triple right in the first single here Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. I'm going to do a triple again, coming in the last single here. Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. Now, if you find that your stitch is still too tight, we can 
go ahead and do 12 instead of 10. I think that's what I'll do because I don't want the pattern to pull. So 10, 11, 12. Again with the triple. Come into the first one. Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. And then on the last single, take out two, take out two, and the last two. Chain 12 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm coming in again the center here of the two double crochets with a single. And we're going to proceed this way all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Triple again on the first single. Take out two, take out two, and the last two, and triple on the last single. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. And proceed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come in between the double crochets here. And do a single. So pretty much that's what it's going to look like. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we're reaching the end of row 17. So I've done six chains. I'm going to row three times. I'm coming in the single because we need to be in the middle to start the next row. Maybe it's best I do five chain instead of six. We don't want it to be too big. Okay, so five chain. Sometimes I just have to go along with the pattern. Okay, let's do that again. So take out once, two times, three times, four times. That's better. Now, on this one here, we're, where we have the motives here will be 12 chain. Okay, and on these ones here will be 15 chains. So we're going to do 12 chain. So row 18, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 chain. I'm coming into, let me just count this properly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on my 6th one. And I'm going to close it with single. Now I'm going to do 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 chain. Where we have these motives here, on all of them, it's a 15 chain. And the other ones are 12. So I'm going to count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On my sixth one, I'm going to do a single. So now we proceed again with 12 because we are on the motives here like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And count again. One, two, three, four, five on my sixth one. Single. So one chain of 15 where these motives are and chain of 12 where we have the long ones. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've closed in where we first started with a slip stitch. Now, I'm going to do the walk 
We're going to create some bells here at the end. The thing with this pattern is you have to create individual. So it's a little bit of work. Keep, you know, starting to create bells and then uh, cutting thread and going into the second bell cutting thread. But it's a gorgeous pattern. Um, as a doily, it's perfect. I mean, you would have to use, I guess, a very thick thread for this. So... It would be as a doily and not a tablecloth because it, you know, it's just nearly impossible. Okay, so I'm on the um, so I have to go into so I'm going to keep going with a slip stitch, either that in between the stitch or you cut your thread. I have to get to we're going to work here on the on the motive here and not and not these ones here we we do not work on the ones that have the big motive okay so either you can cut the thread tuck in I'm just avoiding the cutting thread and tucking in you know and just gonna proceed by here but you can do it the other way if you like just cut the thread and then come directly into so this one here we have 15 right so I think I pulled this thread here wrong. I'm even going to grab a smaller hook just so we don't have like too much of a thick lineup coming through. I should have done it with this one here, but this is just a sample, so it's okay. And this hook is, is very fine to even grab all of this, but I'll try my best. So one, two, three four, five, six. So we have 15 and seven. Okay, so on my seventh one, where we have this one here, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to come back in with a slip stitch, okay? Now, I'm just going to turn this little loop. The thing is, we're going to have to keep cutting the thread after this, okay? So I'm turning this little loop here. I'm just going to use my thinner hook just so I can get it into this side so it can stay flat. So you just turn that little loop like that, okay? Now, so inside of this little loop, we're going to come in with a single and chain two. I'm going to come back in. We're going to do nine double crochets three four five six seven eight And nine. So we have nine double crochets inside of this loop. I'm going to turn my work around. And we're going to repeat the nine double crochets again. So one, two, three, chain into the next one, double crochet into the next one, double crochet into the next one double crochet and again so it's just a repeat of these double crochets make sure you get the very last one because sometimes it is tricky and then turn your pattern around again
and repeat again. One, two, three, and again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, where am I at? Two, four, six, eight. Why do I have more than I'm supposed to? Oh, that wasn't too smart of me, was it? Hmm. That's because I did two in the same space. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so again, so do your nine double crochets. We're going to turn around again. I need to see if maybe I can turn off some lighting here so we don't look. Chain three. One, two, three. Now these bells have five rows. Four. We're going to do chain four because one for space. So double crochet, a chain, double crochet, a chain, double crochet, chain, and again. And you could have done these in gold and red and green. These are bells. That's why I say it would be perfect for Christmas. So baby mama, even though this is not a tablecloth, it's a doily you can put it on top of that table it would look amazing especially if you have like a a nice silky uh cloth over it and then put this you know like a green or a red one put if you're using white or off-white put this on top it would look stunning two four six eight nine and like i said uh baby uh grandma i will leave the link to the um octagon um, tablecloth, uh, pineapple tablecloth. I'm sure you'll like that. Okay, so again, we're going to do one, two, and three. Not three, four, sorry. And chain, one chain, and then double crochet, and then Did I do a chain here? No, I didn't. Okay, the only, like I said, the only problem with this is you're going to have to always cut the thread right after we finished here and continue to do the same thing. Why do I keep forgetting to do my one chain? It's because I'm yapping away. When I yap away, I'm not concentrated. So I'm going to have to do mine and come back to you on it so we can complete the last row together. So we have one, two, three, four, five rows, okay? Not including with the, with the uh, thing we did. So what we have to do now is we need to cut our thread. And I'm already going to turn it to the back because it makes it easier now on us. Okay. And on the chain right next to it. One, two, three, four, five, six chain, and then back into the same space with slip stitch. We're going to turn around. Turn 
trying to hide my little thread here. We're going to come in and we're going to do our nine um, double crochets again. The thing is we need to attach it afterwards to the other um, bell up top. So I have my two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, you would turn around and proceed again. One, two, three. So the first three rows, there is no chain space. So the fourth row, is it? Yes, fourth and fifth row, we have a chain space. Okay, so continue, then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I did my five rows. I did my last double crochet. And now you're going to come in the last one here. And you're just going to slip stitch through it. Like that. Okay. And then cut your thread and of course best way to do it is tuck in your loose ends already because when you get to the last row so you can make a knot here and then just you know hide the thread in between these loops because we are going to still work the last row on it now, of course, you can make these bells even a little bit bigger. You can go an extra row or two. I'm just going to leave it like that because the next row is going to cover it up. Okay, so give you an idea what this is going to look like. So this is going to be like that. And then we have the last row, which we're going to make the little thing of the bell here. Okay. So now what you need to do is, like I said, we're only working where these motives are. So that means you're going to skip all of this and you're going to come and work here. And we need to attach it onto that one. So the first thing we want to do is turn our pattern to the back and restart again. And then come in one, two, three, four, five, six on your seventh one. Make sure I have this right. One, two, three, four, five, six on my seventh. Single. Then do your six chain. You can hide your thread at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Come on the same one. Slip stitch. Turn your pattern. And do everything all over again. So we're going to do, we're going to work inside of the loop here. And do the nine, so single, two chain, the nine double crochets. So I'm going to create my bell and then come to you at the end so I can show you. We're going to attach it on the corner here. Okay. So I'm on my last row. Five, two, three. So I've done my three chain. I'm going to come in one, two on my third chain here. I'm going to slip stitch one chain and then proceed to do my nine 
double crochet one chain space again Now, if you wanted to make these bells longer without having so many rows, you could have done triple and it would make them longer also. Now, of course, the last row is going to hide all of this, right? And then you cut your thread again and proceed with the next one. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it all the way around. Attach, attach, all the way. Don't forget that you need to do it on your motives here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Hey everyone, so I pretty much tied off the last one together and I'm going to continue to do one chain in the same space a single next space single so this whole row will be about singles this is just the closing off of the pattern so single on top of the double crochet one in the one chain space okay so um one, two, three, and four. So here on the fourth one, one, two, three, four, between the four and the five, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can just do pecan or come in and do a single. Okay. And then on top of the double crochet and then continue one single and one chain space one on top of the double crochet and you'll do that to all the bells or you can just close in as peacock if you'd like i mean the it's up to you you have that option i'm going to do a single in between the bells actually i'm going to do two singles i want to give it that little space between them like that one on top of the double crochet and one inside of this space. So we're going to count again one, two, three, and between the four and the five. One, two, three, the four and the five. One, two, three, and the four. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, one, two, three, four. If I do it here, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be done on the five. We want it to be centered. Okay, no biggie. So on your fifth one, I think that looks more sense. So on your fifth double crochet, one, two, three, four. On the fifth one here, we'll do the sixth chain. Two, three, four, five, six. And then come back into the same space. And then into the other spaces. Just close it off one single per space and on top of the double crochet. And I think we're good like this. I think it will be more centered off. I'm going to do two inside of the, between the bells, just to give it that space. And one on top of the double crochet. And then you count again to your fifth double crochet and do your sixth chain. I think that's more centered that way. One, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come back in the same space and close it off. And then proceed again. 
with the singles. Well, this does it pretty much for this tutorial. I want to thank every single one of you for being here. Um, baby Grandma, I hope you like this pattern. It's I think it will look stunning on your table. And very simple to create. It's just a little bit a uh, little bit of work for the bells at the end, but you know what? You want to have a beautiful little piece, then it's worth the doing. And like I said, uh, my octagon tablecloth that I have pineapples. I will leave the link below for you to look at, remembering that you can go into the rugs and create tablecloths from it. Or I have many uh, tablecloths also. You can check that out on my playlist. One, two, three, four, and five. I overpassed it. Okay, so anyway, you get the idea how it is. I will have the video. And once I block it, uh, you can uh, start uh, spray. I use... Um, laundry softener to block my patterns pure whatever brand it doesn't matter and i spray it and i stretch it with my hand now if you have time you can leave it dry on its own i normally don't i spray i stretch and i light iron it and it's just perfect so i want to thank every single one of you for being here thank you so much please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video i will have the measurements below um this is just perfect to for a table centerpiece and um, please don't forget to to share sharing is caring if you haven't subscribed yet please do so it helps the channel thank you for your donations for the women in need and for myself for the super chat super thanks i am grateful and humble to every single one of you i send you much love and hugs thank you everyone until next time bye bye